once again, old Spider-Man's got something hooked up. Uh, getting kind of tired of his shit, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's definitely got some weight to it. Whatever it is, it's got some weight to it. Fishing here in Grandview, Indiana, right next to the uh, digger over here. You want to take a glance over that. Sitting in some very, very deep water. Probably about 50 foot of deep water. Fishing after some big fish. We're using full skip jacks. I went a little too tight on the drag. It's on the other side of your line, Sonny. Take that, Angel. Just keep it down that way for a second. Definitely a lot of weight, a lot of weight. Wanna get that ready for me sir? Yep. Not really making any ground on him, he's just coming up this way. To be honest with you, I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Like I said, it's it's got a lot of weight to it. Puts a whole new meaning to finesse in a fish. Yeah, it does. A lot of weight on this fish. A lot of weight. I'm, I'm just going to throw out a guess. 20 pounds. That's my guess, folks. Oh, he's going under the boat. Whatever it is, it is big. Feels like dead. That's what we come out here for. The way he's digging down, I'm gonna say it's flathead. He's not really doing a whole lot of darting, like a blue. He's really trying to keep his face down. And he's got a lot of weight to him. Oh, we might need you. You got that now ready? Good. Just trying nice and easy. I don't want to spook him too much. You guys watched our last video. My drag messed up. Sort of screwed everything up a little bit. But Oh, oh. there goes another one. That's you. I think he just laid, I think he just laid over. Uh, keep an eye on it. This is the Abbey. I think you just laid over. Sorry for the slowness here. Just like I said, you uh, Spider-Man. You know, I don't exactly have a whole lot of hawsing power here. and Definitely not in any hurry. Angel. Can you turn the volume down on that? I don't want it to interfere. Oh, he is still deep, and he just made some waves at the top. Like I said, it's Thank very you. excited to see there what this go. guy's going to look like. But he's doing everything in his power, keeping himself from being seen, that's for sure. Catfishing's all about patience. We all know that. Last thing you want to do is when you get one hooked is get too crazy about it. You know, take your time. You don't want to spend all this time and money and bait just to get crazy when you finally got that nice one hooked. There he is. Finally seen some collar. Nice and quiet, Mr. Satterfield. There he is. It was a blue. Oh my. Oh, I bumped him. Oh, shit. Bring him back. I can't. There you go. 
Grab it, then. grab it. I don't have a good hook on it. Oh! oh. <laughs> <sighs> Woo! Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this this is definitely what fishing's all about. If I can get the pliers real quick, Mr. Scott, will you hand me those? We'll just go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. That's right. By the way, this is the uh, better half of half of TNS fishing here. This is Miss Angel Selby joining us tonight. She swears up and down she's my good luck charm, but. Oh. Got it. Talk about perfect timing. Let's see if we can get a good picture of this guy here. Like I said, I may have underestimated my 20 pounds. But we're definitely going to see that's a nice fish. Beautiful, a lot of weight, and he is one healthy fish. Look at that. Put him at about, what do you think, two, two and a half? Two and a half foot long. Every bit of two and a half foot long. We're definitely going to get a set of scales. Yep. Like I said, I definitely put him around. 20, 25 easily. You know, he's got a lot of weight to him. Hold on of course, second. I like to underestimate than overestimate. I know it's weird for a fisherman to say that, but. Turn him around a little bit. There you go. All right, we're gonna get him back in the water after a few pictures and uh, hopefully get a few more line runners. We'll see you soon. Got you. Holy perch, what frickin' Zilla. Which side are you on on that line? I'm not for sure, but I'm on that pole. I'm on it, crap. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. Let's at least get the fish in. Sorry. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this guy hamburger patties right here. Mr. Satterfield's fish here. Look at that. Call him Ohio River Bluegill. <laughs> Staying in the light. Sorry about that. There you go. Look at the slabber on that one. Good fish. A lot of fun. You're fine, you're fine. Doing fine. Don't crank it too much. You gotta give some kind of slack. Oh, she's standing up. Ladies and gentlemen, she is standing up. See what you can do with this? Uh, it was on there. Keep flying down there. Don't, don't, don't fly him out there. Keep the tension. There you go, there you go. Not a big? There we go. That sounds big. Sounds big. Definitely hooked up in this other line here. Oh, that is a big fish. Keep coming. It's funky. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Doing fine. Got him? Oh, he's not in the net. 
Oh wow. That is a very nice blue. Very nice blue. There you go. Get him out and around so I can see him in the camera. Let's let our star make a guest appearance. There you go. Guest make a star appearance. Not our star make a guest appearance. That doesn't make sense. I am a star of the show though. You're always a star. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. We will get the white lines untangled. Don't worry about that. Get over here next to it. There you go. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Beautiful. <laughs> Got the pliers? Well, the thing about these circle hooks, they're usually pretty easy to get out. Perfect hook set though. Go ahead and uh, pliers there on top of the console. console. Got him on that big hook too. Did you? Yep. So we know it works. Come on, baby. Hook you, so. Good. All right. That's what we like for catch and release. <laughs> nice and healthy. Keep the population strong. That's right. Want to give him a kiss? Nope. Come on. No. <laughs> All right. That's only bass. Oh, let's yeah, get a picture. Oh. Pictures. <laughs> 